The liner sheet can be used to quickly line out part or all of the roof elevation. You should always work off staging and install one tier at a time. Sealed profile fillers should be used at the ridge and eaves to maintain the system's airtightness. The liners should be fully fixed as per the non-fragility specification. Butyl strip sealant should be used between end laps and on top of side laps, to again ensure the steel liner panel creates a vapor-controlled layer. The Installock Plus spacer system should also be installed during the liner sequence. The brackets can be pre-positioned by twisting the bracket so that the small hook starts to slide under the edge of the bar. With a slight push on the base then a twist, you'll feel a distinct click as the bracket slots into place. The end of the bar incorporates a 40mm spigot end, for easy on-site connection to form a continuous level support. The insulation and external sheet should be laid in sequence. With the fully fixed external sheets acting as a working platform, when installing the insulation ensure all edges are closely butt jointed, or staggered if in two layers to achieve continuity. The quilt must be cut, and tucked under the spacer bar so that there is no air gap under the bar. Where possible, the external sheets should be laid with the exposed joints of the side laps away from the prevailing wind, and fixed and sealed at both side and end laps with butyl strip mastic as per the specification. Vented fillers should be placed at the eaves and ridge, to prevent wind-driven rain entering the system. The contractor should ensure that all swarf and debris are removed from the surface of the external sheet as work progresses, and should be inspected again after installation is completed.